Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just a chit chat get ready with me. They're some of my favorite videos to film. I do have a lot of new makeup, but it might be more new to me than it is to you guys. I feel like I'm behind on some of these products. A lot of new stuff though, and I kind of have a vibe that I'm gonna go for today. Kind of like pinky like flirty holiday makeup i don't know if that makes any sense but i just want to chat with you guys fill you guys in a little bit and then i'm kind of thinking i might talk about some gift ideas so if you are like immediate family to me maybe please don't watch this video i don't know if my family really watches my videos but don't watch this one because i might talk about some gifts that i have purchased for my family first i'm just gonna prep my skin with the glow recipe dew drops they recently came out with a jumbo so i'm actually trying to work through my regular size and then i'm going to start using the jumbo i am gonna apply this with my hands today i don't normally do that but i just feel like making sure it's really rubbed in in today's video i have more breakouts than probably i ever have showing my face online and that is because i did get off of my hormonal birth control and my hormones are crazy i've been off of it for about a month and I just got my first period and with that I have a bunch of like chin acne that's like the favorite place for my hormonal acne to pop up is all around my chin <laughs> gift idea before we even start the makeup uh, I'm wiping my hands off with these super fresh wipes from Colourpop or fourth ray beauty these are the best makeup wipes I don't use makeup wipes to remove my makeup but I am constantly wiping my hands or like touching up makeup and these stay moist like the whole time I'm doing my makeup I can use one wipe uh, so really really good really affordable and I know that they're having a ton of sales right now so just an idea to chuck into a stocking and then I mostly use Use the dew drops just to hydrate my face but there is a primer I want to play around with today and it's the glowish blur jam primer I have tried it a couple times and what surprises me is that it looks like it would be like super silicone and it's not silicone it's more like watery like it disappears on your skin and becomes hydrating cooling watery feeling and it does blur your pores so that's another thing I don't know my skin might be changing with my hormones so I might be getting like more oily and more like larger pores are showing so that's fun but I'm just gonna apply this to like my t-zone area and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but I just saw the shine like instantly disappear from my forehead and I'm just gonna fill in these pores around my nose those are my I guess biggest pores that I have going on are the ones right next to my nose so i'm gonna spot conceal kind of the way that michaela on tiktok does i know that she was like discovered from one of her acne covering tutorials so i don't normally break out like this so i do need to like practice my makeup skills so i'm gonna spot conceal i have this little anastasia a27 and my nars potted concealer that i've been playing around with and i'm gonna cover the big breakouts like this is my worst one i've been acne patching this breakout for days it's not like super super raised but it's really really red and it just does not want to leave my face i think it's like deep under the surface oh that one's pretty big too i like to wear my acne patches overnight but i'm running out because i definitely go overboard i put a patch on every single breakout because i really don't want to deal with this and another thing i don't know if it's hormone related or if it's just you know getting older but I'm having more pigmentation in my skin so it's like my sunspots my freckles and everything are really popping out and I've been better than ever about wearing sunscreen so I don't understand what's happening and I'm trying to incorporate vitamin C and other things to diminish uh, discoloration but man it's just not working for me right now. <laughs> I'm gonna let the concealer sit before I do foundation. I'm gonna try some new brow products that I have. The first one is from the brand Jane Eardale or Iredale. I don't know how to pronounce it. It is the Pure Brow Precision Pencil in dark brown. I like the packaging and when I was browsing the Black Friday sales and stuff, I think this brand is available at Ulta. They did send me a couple of their brow products and I... I was not familiar with the brand name so this is brand new to me and I will definitely link whatever I can link for you guys if you want to try anything out for yourself. I like the tip and everything. It's a little bit more pigmented than the Benefit products that I use 
Sometimes pigment can be good in brows and sometimes it can be bad, especially if it moves around. So I just have to play around with it and see how it is. But so far I like it and I like that it has a spoolie on the other end of it. And then for brow gel, I did have one from Jane Eardell, but I want to try like a bunch of different brands. I have the Bay Brow Brows Are Everything Clear Brow Gel or G Glam clear brow gel from Bay Brow and I'm gonna try this one because I haven't tried this one yet. I really like the Bay Brow brow gel that comes in the tin so I'm thinking this is gonna have a nice hold and I hope so because I do have like longer brow hairs. I finally got a chance to pluck my eyebrows. When I get busy you guys I don't maintain myself very well so I haven't done any brow plucking or like facial shaving and I just did it all today so I'm catching up slowly. <laughs> I'm nervous to mess up my concealer that's covering my acne because I do want to use a sponge today. I never really use a sponge. I always use my brushes, but something is telling me, I don't know, I haven't done my makeup in a while and I wanna be like. <sniffs> this is a gift idea, you guys. This is the Paw Paw AOA Beauty Sponge. It is better than the Beauty Blender. It's like $1.55 and I found a pack of these on Amazon, I believe, it was for six or seven of them for seven dollars so that was a cyber monday deal it's still very affordable to buy it in the pack but then you can open the pack and give everyone one and i'm telling you they're better than the beauty blender which is twenty dollars so really really good affordable stocking stuffer for anybody who does their makeup i want to use this today but i am nervous because i usually use brushes so this is going to kind of change up my routine a little bit and also I'm trying a foundation this is kind of like a shop my stash kind of choice today because I've had this in my collection but I'm not too familiar how it applies on me and it is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation in the shade 5 and I don't know if this is even my shade but let's pick it up with the paw paw sponge oh, I love that it's funny because the word paw paw my sister and I used to call my dad Paw Paw growing up, so it just feels funny saying it. So I'm going to pat this in. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I'm a brush person, but there's something about applying makeup with a sponge that I love so much. <laughs> Is anyone else kind of low-key annoyed with the sales this year? Because I feel like there were some good deals, but just because the products never go on sale, not because the sale was actually good. I wish that the Black Friday sales would be like what they were when I was growing up. <laughs> I feel like you could get stuff for like 70% off. Now it's like a student discount and they're calling it the best deal of the year. I want to see how my favorite concealer blends out with a sponge because I've only ever I think used it with a brush and I love this concealer so much. So this is the Huda Beauty one. I'm just going to go in near my eyeballs and then up the side of my face. I guess I'm gonna hit that big breakout too. Huda Beauty had 80% off of some of their stuff on their website, but of course the one product that I wanted was the Cherry Blossom Powder and that was sold out from like day one. I don't even know if it ever came back into stock. That's something that I have my alerts on for on like Sephora. I have a powder today that I'm gonna try that's like an alternative to that. I'm really trying to convince myself that I don't need that powder. The face today is giving flawless. And you and I both know that it's not. I have a lot of breakouts, but it's looking really good. This is why I don't need the Huda Beauty one. I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder in the shade Rose. This is the Tone Up Loose Powder. I think it's meant to be, you know, brightening because it has that tint to it that like rosy tint to it I do think the cherry blossom one from Huda Beauty is probably just a tiny bit more pink this one might be even more I don't know what you would call it realistic skin tone this should do it for me I don't know why I feel like I need the other one I just put some on a spotlight duster because I don't do a lot of powder especially before I do my creams but I want to get under the eye just in case it creases because normally I do use a brush, so with using the sponge, I just want to make sure that we're not going to get too much creasing. I'm also going to go over the lid because that will get greasy. I don't know what I exactly have in mind, but it's pinky and flirty and glittery and holiday-y. So I am going to go in with the ColourPop Muppets Holidays, Holidays, Holidays 
pressed powder palette. I really like what ColourPop did for their Christmas collection. Like they went pinky vibes and I think that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna stick to this corner up here with the pinks and the transitions. So I'm just going to sweep the shade, what is it? It's kind of hard to see. Holiday party time all over the lid. So I wanna talk about a couple random gift ideas that I'm like really excited for. If you guys have a grandma in your life or even honestly anybody who drinks tea, and they happen to heat up their water like in the microwave. <laughs> An electric tea kettle is the way to go. I've definitely heard people talk about this before and I just never really gave it any thought. And then at Thanksgiving, I saw, I witnessed my grandmother heat up a mug of water in the microwave to make her tea. And I was like, oh my god, I have to get her an electric tea kettle. So that's just such a good idea for anybody who drinks tea and doesn't use, you know, a stovetop kettle or anything like that. That could apply to, like, anybody. You know, it doesn't have to be your grandma. It could be anybody. She also does a lot of, like, walking. She's been super into walking ever since I bought her a Fitbit, which it's almost like an unhealthy amount of walking that she's doing. She's obsessed. She's obsessing over the step count and stuff, but she's been using weights like dumbbell weights and I bought her the Bala bracelets to wear around her wrists so that she can, you know, free up her hands to do other things and not have to like be gripping a weight the whole time. That's another really good gift idea, even if you have like a Pilates girly in your life. And I found like last season's Bala bracelets. I have the like new ones my boyfriend got for me. I found a last season one, they're like the same, at Marshalls for under $20. So I just blended the color Hot Holidays in the crease. Now I'm gonna take the shade Celebrate Moi, which is a shimmering metallic pink, and I'm gonna pop this all over the lid. I wanna do more like videos about gift ideas, but I feel like timing is closing in on me. I can't believe how fast time flies by. So I just wanted to like share a couple last minute ideas just in case any of you guys are watching this and you haven't completed your Christmas list yet. I'm so boring. I asked for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, the Elephant one, because I've seen some people use it and it just looks so freaking beautiful. It's so expensive. I don't want to buy it. I don't want anyone else to buy it for me either though. It's so expensive, but I asked for that. And then just like a soft robe doesn't have to be like skims or anything but I just feel like skims makes a good gift too if you know somebody's sizes you really can't go wrong with like the fits everybody collection this is gonna look way better when the whole face is complete I feel you know a little bit ghostly but I put the metallic shade on and now like I'm gonna play around with this pixie fairy lights and I've never used this shade so I'm a little nervous I shared my bronze go-to look on TikTok and it was with the bronze sparkly version of this. This is the Pixie Fairy Lights. This one is in the shade Crystalline. I don't know how it's gonna look, apply, blend, anything like that. These are kind of old too, so I'm trying to give it a good little spin in here. Lots of chunky glitter. I think it's, again, gonna look really good once the look is all complete, so I'm just gonna tap this over top. The thing with these is I think it's really important to make sure you have some sort of glittery metallic base already down. I don't have a lot of luck with liquid eyeshadow. I feel like it always creases on me or does something weird or patchy or whatever. So for these to work, like I'm just so impressed. It has like iridescent multicolored glitters in it. I have some really fun lashes that I'm using today. I'm really excited for them, but I am gonna do a little coat of mascara. This mascara is also new to me. I really like the packaging. It's from the brand Gen C. This is their black mascara, and I don't know, I'm very picky with mascaras, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm just going to do a little coat on my top lashes. I have to do something before I put falsies on. I think it's good for natural mascara lovers. Like, it's doing, like, a nice little light, even coating. Like, it's not clumpy, but it's definitely not the most lifting but if you're looking for a clean beauty brand and you want to try something new for like everyday wear, I mean, if you're into like a nice natural looking lash, 
pretty good. Okay, so let's apply lashes. I have a really fun new pair from Kiss. This is in collaboration with Meredith Duxbury. It's called Drunk in Love. Look at the pink, like, glittery packaging. I feel like this is the vibe right now that I'm feeling. This and, like, this. You know, pinky, silvery, glittery holiday goodness. Really pretty, wispy, just beautiful style. And then to apply them, I'm gonna try this Lash Glue Liner from Kiss. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I will say, hello, stocking stuffer. Like, this to carry in your purse if you're a lash wearer would be so good, you know, as opposed to a messy, like, tube of lash glue. A nice, easy liner, and then you can just, like, draw, like, lift the lash if it's lifting. Just draw the glue on, let it dry, and then stick it back on, and it's almost like a pen in your bag instead of, like, an ugly lash glue. I really feel like I'm going to put this lash glue to the test because I do have some glitter on my lid, which if you guys are familiar with applying lashes to glittery lids, that can be kind of hard. Making sure that I get in that little corner over there. I'm honestly pretty impressed with this. I just have to get used to it. The glue's really strong. It's just, it's so clear that you can like barely see where you're applying it. As a contact wearer, I can say that I probably got some of this in my eye. <laughs> so I think you need to like just trust that a layer is going on um, and not like put like a crap ton. So I definitely got some in my eye. So let's see if I can do it better on this eye. Just with my eye closed, one swipe all the way across and make sure I got some in the outer corner because that's my problem area. I always start with the middle of the lash. And then honestly, I do think like if you didn't get a good line, you could probably just line the lash again to make sure it's stuck but it seems stuck to me I'll have to see if it lifts at all I just like don't trust the process I don't know I'm gonna regret it I feel like I'm gonna regret it later when there's a ton of glue in my lashes like in my natural lashes but so far so good moving on to the rest of my face I do feel like I have some work to do here to like warm it up and really bring the whole look to life um but I'm like pretty happy with the direction that this is going. I am going to go for, I think, what I guess I would consider to be like a little bit of a sunburnt look. So this is my Nude Sticks Nudies Bronze. No, Nudies Matte Bronzer in the shade Beach Babe. I am going to warm this up on the back of my hand and I think I'm going to pick this up also off of the back of my hand just because I don't want to go in with too much product. I'm using a dirty brush for this, but I'm going to pick this up with a duo fiber on the back of my hand. I may end up just drawing this on with the actual stick. No, it's applying fine. I am going to continue on this way. So I'm just going to warm up the areas of my face, I guess, that the light would naturally hit. I'll make sure I get my forehead. I'm going to get my nose and my chin a little bit. Already this is looking better. If you guys have somebody who's really into social media or you're into social media, hopefully you are if you're watching this and you want to get like an accessory for filming or like TikToks or taking selfies, there is this clip on light from the brand newer that clips onto your phone and it has a full spectrum of like cool to warm lighting. It's amazing, it makes your pictures look so good. That would be a really good gift idea and wish list idea. I am gonna do some cool toned pink because that's the vibe of this look. So I'm gonna take the NYX, NYX Wonder Stick. This is new to me, I have used it a couple times but it's fairly new to me. And I'm gonna do a couple dots of cool tone pink under my eyes. This is like how you do that cold girl trend with like more natural makeup obviously, but that nice cool tone pink right under the eyes. The face is starting to do exactly what I wanted it to do when I started this video, very happy about that. For lower lashes, I'm just gonna hit them with the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I intended on adding powder blush over top um, but I really don't think I need to. 
but I had this flirted up blush on deck and ready to go but the blush is blushing I don't, I don't think I need it I am gonna highlight I haven't been highlighting a lot lately and that's so not like me so I'm gonna take the pillow talk by Charlotte Tilbury beauty light wand this is fairly new to me I'm still like figuring it out I feel like these are so expensive for the small amount of product that you get but you twist it open and squeeze some out it's so weird too because this looks so dark like the tip of this looks so dark for being like a light highlight why does it look so dark I don't know I'm gonna put this on just going up the cheekbone it is more I guess of like a goldeny glow that was a lot <laughs> than a pinky glow is this gonna ruin everything I don't know I don't normally use beauty blender okay I just I'm a brush person but it's looking okay and it's taking some of the blush away which is fine because that was a lot it's giving flawless skin though so I'll take it I have a couple lipsticks and I don't really know the vibe that I want I'm gonna start with my tried and true which is the Huda Beauty muted pink lip contour 2.0 I literally could wear this all over my lips and just smudge it out and that's my go-to lip color but I'm going to rub my lips together then this is new to me this is the brand Gen C again the clean beauty brand and I cannot read rose 03 this either says rose or rosy the writing is absolutely tiny um, it's such a beautiful rosy colored lipstick though so I'm excited to see what it looks like it reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Wow. I'm gonna find the shade and link it for you because wow, that is beautiful. That would be absolutely stunning on its own, but I do think I wanna add a little bit of a lighter nude to the middle. So I'm taking this Rimmel Kate lipstick in the shade 42. This was an impulse buy. In the center. This one's a little bit more creamy. The other one is matte for sure, but I really like this combination. It's kind of what I'm going for. We're going to finish it up with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. And a little fanning of the face. So let me know if you want any more gift ideas before the holidays because I definitely have a ton. And follow me on TikTok if you want to stay more up to date with me when I'm not posting over here. But before I leave you guys, I want to do a little giveaway for my YouTube family. I know that I am not posting as much over here, but I love you guys so much. And I actually just ended an obligation with another brand that I'm working with or was working with. So I will have more time to post over here. But I want to do a little Christmas giveaway for this fun set from ColourPop. The vaults on ColourPop's website make some of the best gifts and also gifts to yourself because it's a really good value but this one in particular comes with six eyeshadow palettes, six nine pan eyeshadow palettes and there's a bunch of colorful ones, there's a couple neutral ones so I want to give this to one of you guys. All you have to do if you want to enter to win this is be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment on this video telling me your favorite gift idea of the year or something that you're asking for this year just anything gift idea related I love talking about this around the Christmas time and make sure you leave your either Instagram handle or TikTok handle so that I can find you and DM you when I pick a winner but thank you guys so much for watching and for spending your time hanging out with me over here I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys